Lost Girl cast here today. In our, in our first year of the Urban Fantasy Track. So we're going to get right to it. And our first panelist to be introduced is everyone's favorite mesmer, Paul Amos.
was a fucking bear. <laughs> Say that. 
Does that mean, like, is that the big censorship of Marty's song? Well, Mark, it's 16 months. <laughs> okay, my next question for you, and then we're going to go to audience questions, is out of the three seasons of the show, what do you think is the creepiest fay that has been... Oh my goodness. What's happening here? This is about to get very nuts.
did this kind of thing ever enter your mind? Like going to a and con And we would be here, right now, answering his question. Like yes. Yeah. 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 Time opened up before me as a portal. And I first saw that I would need to do lots of yoga. Now, are you talking about cosplay as well? Let's see. My God, God. he just doesn't understand. <laughs> slow. <laughs> uh, no, for me, not at all. It was, uh, you know, I, I loved and I responded to uh, Michelle Lebretta's first script. Um, I've always wanted to do a genre piece like this. I grew up reading fantasy, sci-fi. I wanted to get involved in this. And, and uh, when this script came across me, I, I just I threw everything at it with no thought as to how it would end up. I mean, I did the tutors beforehand and that... <laughs> It doesn't have the sort of fan base that genre shows you. I mean, you guys are so special. I'm like, what? That's, this is such a special experience, and I've never experienced it before, so I had no idea how to think of something I had never experienced. But I'm glad I'm doing it now. Thank you. You're doing it too. So, a long time ago, when 